راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين I start in the name of Allah the Lord of the world and I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon his, him, his family, his companions, and his followers all. Until the day of judgment, I welcome you to this new lesson from the series of Tafsir, uh, the first level here on Zad Academy. And last time we talked about the, the methodologies of the Mufassireen, and we talked about At-Tafsiru bil Ma'thur, At-Tafsiru bil Ra'i. So we talked about Tafsir by reports and Tafsir by opinion. And in this regard, uh, let me get you back so you can go on your own and answer the activity uh, at the end of, of pre previous lesson, which is if you have like a, a, a mind map uh, uh, Try to make one uh, where you classify and draw the uh, methodologies of tafsir. That's the first exercise. And then secondly, can you bring examples of some of the uh, books uh, that were authored by uh, uh, tafsir of ar-ra'i, by those who made tafsir based on diraya or their own opinion and also tafsir by al-athar or reports. So give us examples and you find these examples easily at the end of the lesson. And then uh, can uh, tafsir by opinion be praiseworthy? How would you uh, say that and can you uh, find support through other Uh, sources other w than than what you studied in this in this course. Of course, you'd find support for that from many outside sources. So dig for that and find the answer. So that is uh, to complete again uh, what we said in the previous lesson. Let me now get into a new area. Now this new area is very important. We're now after this introduction about tafsir and the meaning of tafsir, the development of tafsir, the conditions for tafsir and the kinds of tafsir and uh, the methodologies of mufassirin and so on. Now we're coming into uh, the meaning of, uh, for example, the tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha and then we'll follow that inshallah with the tafsir of Ayat Al-Kursi in Surah Al-Baqarah and then the uh, final Uh, uh, ayahs or the end, end of uh, the uh, Surah Al-Baqarah uh, where these uh, verses, mashallah, are very, very great and they've been given to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam which was not given to any Prophet before and this is from Aman al-Rasul bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi والمؤمنون. So that is لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدو ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله until the end of the surah. So that that is how how we are we're going to uh, conduct ourselves in the uh, 
uh, in this in this level, insha'Allah, we start with Surah Al-Fatiha. Now, Surah Al-Fatiha, or the chapter of Al-Fatiha, is is uh, a great great surah. We'll talk about its virtues, about its names, uh, some of its benefits, and uh, the uh, subjects uh, that are being uh, given in Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha is only seven ayahs, and you'd find these ayahs uh, in any uh, mushaf, uh, you'd find them seven, starting with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now, some scholars said that uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is not uh, part of the, uh, of, this, of the surah, and uh, uh, it's only said in the beginning of every surah, except one surah in the glorious Quran, which is Surah at tawbah Bara'atum min Allahi Rasulullah. They either bara'a uh, or uh, at tawbah But uh, let's talk about uh, the virtue, the virtue of Surah Al-Fatiha. Now, I think you have to make sure that there is a, a, a small mistake there because in the virtue of Surah Al-Fatiha, there's a mention of the virtue of, of Ayatul Kursi, which is not the case but you'd find the same text that I'm going to say, uh, the same hadith uh, later on in some uh, uh, in 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 the uh, after after two pages. So let me let me uh, start by this hadith. Al Bukhari reported, rahimahullah, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Abu Sa'id ibn al Mu'alla, uh, he was actually praying, and then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, called upon him, so he did not respond. He was praying. And then once he finished uh, praying, he came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and, and, and said, why don't you answer? Uh, didn't you hear what Allah said? Uh, ya ayyuha, uh, ya amanu, lillahi idha da'akum lima yuhikum. So answer Allah and his messenger when they call upon you. So uh, the Sahabi was saying, I, I, was, I was praying. And the Prophet ﷺ said, why didn't you answer, even when you were praying? And then he said, uh, I will teach you, I shall teach you a surah that is the greatest surah in the Quran. He said, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. It is a sab'ul mathani, the often repeated verses and Al-Qur'an Al-Azim which I was or I have been given. So that is the hadith which shows that it is the greatest surah meaning in reward or because it has uh, uh, attained all of the uh, meanings of the glorious Qur'an. Yes, it is a great surah in its content and its uh, uh, you know uh, how how it's uh, it is said one ayah after the other, and the great and 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 that's why it was given many names. It was given like Alhamdu, uh, uh, the Surah of Alhamd, al Sab al Mathani, the or, or the praise, the uh, often repeated uh, uh, seven verses, Ummul Kitab, the essence of the book, or literally the mother of the book and the mother of the Qur'an, meaning the essence of the book and the, other, the essence of the Qur'an, because all of the meanings of the Qur'an come back uh, or are driven from this surah. And of course, the very famous name is Al-Fatiha because it's the opening. It's the first surah in the glorious Qur'an. Now, what are some of the benefits of Surah Al-Fatiha? Well, there are many benefits. Uh, there are two uh, great names of Allah that are being there, Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim, that uh, uh, the Rububiyyah, meaning the uh, oneness of Allah based on His uh, Lordship, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is, uh, is based on His, his uh, vast uh, mercy. Also, to affirm the sovereignty, uh, the absolute sovereignty of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, on the Day of Judgment, also to admonish uh, people uh, and servants to remember the day of judgment so a person shall do very well in this regard which uh, will make him uh, safe on the day 
of judgment. Um, what are the subjects? Well, the subjects are many like to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, uh, show that he is, uh, uh, has the attributes of mercy and sovereignty. He is, uh, we shall single him out in, in worship and uh, seeking help, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to uh, uh, seek also guidance from Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to uh, the straight path, as-sirat al-mustaqim, that is the uh, path of those whom Allah has, has blessed. Now, of course, every Muslim knows al-Fatiha. Uh, even, even small children know al-Fatiha. And al-Fatiha is, 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 is these uh, great uh, seven verses. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahmanir rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين. So Amin is an addition. We say only it's not part of the of Al Fatiha. Now, uh, as, as we already mentioned, the names. And uh, why was it called Al-Fatiha? Because the Qur'an uh, started with it, so it's an opening. Or because Al-Fatiha, according to some uh, opinions of, of, of scholars, that it was the first thing that was revealed of the glorious Qur'an. But it was also said that the first ayah that was revealed was, قُلْ يَا أَيُّ Is it, يَا أَيُّهَا المدثر, Or, what is also reported in many of the books of tafsir, اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق and that is, that is the correct opinion in this regard. Now, what is the virtue of this uh, of the surah? The surah has so many virtues and I think the best thing to do is, is, is to uh, uh, put that into the second, into the coming, the coming lesson, inshallah, because it looks like uh, we need more time to elaborate and to uh, talk about the virtue based on true ahadith. And remember, we talked about uh, in an earlier lesson uh, the hadith regarding the virtues of some of the surahs of the uh, Quran. And we said that not all of the hadith that you'd find in some books are true regarding the uh, virtues of some surahs. However, we're, we're going to uh, talk about the virtues of Al Fatiha itself and its prominence and importance in true and authentic hadith taken from Al-Bukhari and Muslim and Imam Ahmad. Um, all of them are true and authentic hadiths. So uh, we will uh, discuss that in the coming lesson by the grace of Allah. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان